Um, but yeah, so we're doing this tri this trip to the beach, my mom's beach house. She worked really hard to get it. Very proud of her. Um, she's letting us use it, which was really nice. And so we're driving, right? We're driving about two and a half hours to the beach. And the way we are located is we're stuck in congested traffic. So the first part of the trip, literally the first 15, 30 minutes is us just like only five, 10 miles from our house because of how congested the highway is. But then it clears up and it's a clear trip. It's an easy, easy trip. My girlfriend's driving. She doesn't like driving in Delaware because you have to be very, Delaware is very specific about the speed limits. If you're even like five or six over, they will pull you over and get a ticket. And she doesn't like that. She likes the, just speed in a little bit. I'm a little bit more of a cautious driver. Anyway, she's a better driver than me, but still I'm, I'm more cautious in that regard. She drives to the beach. I drive while we're actually at the beach. We're planning to be there Wednesday to Wednesday. And so we're driving there. We got stuck in some traffic. She got a little bit annoyed, but then it cleared out. Guys, we are 20 minutes from getting there, okay? The weather's nice. We're chilling. We have our dog in the car. She's starting to whine and freak out a little bit because she's hungry. She hasn't had dinner. We are 20 minutes away. 2-0. 20 minutes away. And then her car starts going, ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk. and I'm like, okay, what the hell? And it's like, ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk. and she's like, do we pull over? I'm like, how about we keep going? We're almost there. Let's just see. And then, and then it starts rattling and it gets louder and louder until you, like we have the radio on and you can hear it over the radio. And I'm just like, okay, pull over the dog's barking and whining because she can sense our stress so we pull it over and we have no idea what's going on so we pull over i pull up the hood i know nothing about cars absolutely nothing this experience is maybe teaching me to learn a little bit something about cars but um we open up the hood and the engine's just like rattling it's just like going all over the place i'm like what the actual so i take a deep breath we start the car again, she starts taking off, and she can't even go over 25 miles per hour. So, uh, we pull over, and we don't know what to do. We're like, okay, do we call for a tow truck? Do we call AAA? Like, what is actually going on? Fortunately, my mom was already at the beach house. She was going to be there until Monday. Fortunately, she was already at the beach house. So we call her up. We're like, hey, listen, we are 20 minutes away and we're stuck on the side of the road. Guys, my girlfriend's car is not old. It is not even five years old yet. She bought it new. It is a 2017, 2018 car. So it is not old at all. She just got it checked out. They said everything was fine when they did the diagnostics. So we were like, well, this doesn't this doesn't make any sense sense so my mom comes to pick us up because the tow people say they're going to be 90 minutes away we're like we're not going to wait 90 minutes it's hot out the dog needs to eat the dog's crying the dog's barking we're stressed out so my mom comes to pick us up and we're we're just on the side of the road and then all of a sudden the tow truck calls and they're like oh we're 10 minutes away we're like this is absolutely great. It said 90, it's 10 minutes. Let's go, poggers. So I actually said poggers and uh, Miss OCD got mad at me. Tow truck starts coming. So we're like, okay, this is great. But we had to Google an auto repair shop. We're like, okay, where, where are we gonna go with this? So all of them are closed because it's five o'clock and around Delaware, everything's closed at five. So they take it to a auto shop so her she has uh insurance and they were able to tow it for free so that was that was really good they towed it to an auto repair shop that was closed and they were going to give them all the information so that way they can check it out in the morning all right so we're like okay hopefully it's nothing too crazy maybe it's just the spark plugs or something like that so we drive back to the you know to the beach house and we're a little bit stressed now right because it's like we're, we're here on vacation. We're here We're here to relax, and all this crap is coming coming down. Cars are expensive. So, you know, Miss OCD was being very positive, actually, more so than me. I was freaking out. But she's like, oh, it's going to be fine. It's whatever. So we get here. We're chilling, 
And then the next day they call and they're like, yeah, so we can't, this is the, 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 the auto repair. They're like, yeah, we can't fix your car. We're like, what do you mean? They're like, it's something called a rod knock and uh, we don't have the proper equipment for that. And if it uh, is the engine, you need a whole new engine, a whole new part. And we don't do that. Guys, a whole new engine sometimes isn't even worth it for a car. Because if you have to get a whole new engine, depending on the type of car it is, it's better just to scrap the car and get a new car. But we just sold my car. So we are using one car for me to get to work and to move around and stuff. And if we lose this car, we have zero cars. If it is the engine, they said. They couldn't do a full diagnostics. So we're freaking out. We're like, what do we, what do we even do? So the repair shop says to send it to the dealership because the dealership can handle car parts that she bought it from. The dealership is like 40 minutes away from the beach house. So we're like, okay, so now we gotta tow it there, right? Um, so she calls them and they're like, we can look at it, but if it's the engine, it is going to take two to three weeks to get the parts. Two to three weeks. We're on vacation. We don't have two or three weeks. So we're like, what the actual fuck are we going to do? Because we're here till Wednesday. Fortunately, my mom was there. My mom was not at the beach house. I don't even, I can't even imagine what we would be doing. The vacation would have been ruined because we need, we're, we've been using her car to go around and do stuff. Anyway, let alone get home. So, anyway, uh, we, fortunately, my mom has AAA. For those of you that don't know, AAA is like a car insurance. And they have this like premium membership thing that she's a part of. And they were able to say that they could tow our car, my girlfriend's car, from Delaware all the way back to Maryland, close to where we live, to then check it out and let us know what's going to happen. So we don't know yet. We don't know if it's something that's very like normal that we can fix or if it's the whole engine that needs to get fucking taken out and replaced. But the thing is, one, the car is so new, this shouldn't happen. Two, her dealership told her that when they ran the diagnostics that everything was fine. So why didn't anything like show up like an error message? And then uh, three, if she's under warranty, then we should be good, but we, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Um, fortunately, we my mom is very nice. I love my mom so much. Shout out to mom, she's subscribed. Um, but she's not actually watching right now, she's sleeping. But uh, I don't know why I did peace sign either. That's that's kind of cringe. But uh, we, <laughs> we um, we're here. We're actually gonna stay until Wednesday. She's going to drive us back, and uh, let's just hope when they call either tomorrow or the next day that uh, they figure something out.